What's up guys? It's time for another smoke break. Oh, I don't really know what to talk about right now. I'm just going to wing it, I think. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's talk about... Alright, I saw this the other day. When uh, Bernie Sanders was on the Bill Maher show. And Bill Maher and Bernie Sanders basically agreed that uh, we live already in a socialist uh, country. And I agree, we do. And it needs to fucking change, which is why we shouldn't elect fucking Bernie Sanders. See, these socialists like to blame capitalism for all all the problems. When really, the all the, all these dirtbags that Bernie Sanders keeps talking about, all these billionaires support socialism because socialism becomes feudalism, and they get to keep all the money. Buy up all the companies, erase the middle class, and just have a bunch of fucking peons running around with their hand out for fucking money from the government, which is clearly bought and paid for by the billionaires and trillionaires like it is right now. So Bernie Sanders' solution to that is more of the same. And it's very irritating to me to uh, listen to, to these uh, well-meaning um, democratic socialists that uh, don't understand that they're working for the for the very uh, people that they claim that they're working against. It's a it's very sad, uh, and they won't see it. I, I there'll be comments on this video calling me an idiot probably, or or calling me a fascist. Because that's their, that's their term, is I'm a national socialist fascist because I don't like communism and socialism. And I hate poor people and I, I'm racist against immigrants. And that is all, uh, does, that's the socialist plan, is to uh, create and label people into their different teams so they can control the, uh, the team that that's getting the... the the least end of the stick from their from their view someone's always going to get the least end of the stick that's where they're going to go they're going to try to get their uh get to power that way and get all these well-being people thinking they're going to help the poor people through uh welfare and other social programs and the reason why a lot of people are poor in this country is because of education there's no financial education in school. And it's set up that way so uh, your kids grow up uh, so they can't compete in the uh, capitalist society. Uh, so only the capitalists can compete. And it's designed that way. So that way you, they, the competition is down. They're against competition. These people are not capitalists. They're monopoly men. Competition is a sin. That's a Rockefeller quote. He was also involved in uh, creating the education system we have now in 1902 and in 1903, where he also invited people like uh, Pavlov, who was a dog trainer, to uh, trade children like dogs, because that's what they were doing in the socialist communist uh, countries at the time, which he was also funding the Russian Revolution and all this shit for oil and whatnot. Him and the uh, Rothschilds. So, and the Rothschilds actually uh, got sued, I believe, last year. They actually tried suing a gentleman who basically stated that they uh, run the world, a giant part of the world. And they sued this man, and I believe it was in England, and they lost with, it's called losing with prejudice. So, when you go to court and you sue somebody and you lose with prejudice, that means that you not, that you not only did not prove your case, the person against you proved a case against you for being a lying piece of shit, so now you have to pay up all the uh, court fees and pay him some money. Look it up. So, that's just what I wanted to say. Uh, America is not getting worse and worse because of capitalism. America is getting worse and worse because of socialism. 
because of communism, which has worked its way into our government from these monopoly men funding our politicians. Uh, and soon it will not be socialism. Soon it will be a uh, plutocracy, which is uh, what Citigroup wants, is a plutocracy where that is just basically a, another form of a neo-feudalism where there's just all these poor people and a very few rich people at the top running everything, owning all the companies, and uh, basically treating poor people like shit, like back in the fucking when there was kings and noblemen and shit. So if you want that, be a socialist. Be a democratic socialist. If you want a chance, if you want a chance in hell of giving out of poverty, you need to uh, become a capitalist and uh, educate yourself on the financial system and how they use it to get money, to make money. Uh, the credit system is designed and they try to get you into this trap with all your student loans that you can't possibly pay back. A lot of you. So you get deep in debt so you can never build your credit. Credit, excuse me. Uh, to uh, buy businesses. Uh, invest in your business as an entrepreneur. Uh, things like that. So that way you're always going to uh, the shitty job that uh, pays you between like, you know, seven fifty and 11 bucks an hour where you can barely pay rent for your apartment and buy food for yourself and your family. That, my friends, is socialism, and that's what we got right now. So we cannot fall for this Bernie Sanders bullshit. Do not feel the burn. Get, your, get, you, get you a glass of nice, tall, ice-cold glass of capitalist port beer. Fucking God, it's just a fucking crazy metaphor. But the thing we do need to do is uh, stop blaming capitalism when it is, in fact, socialism, which is a giant part of our problem. Uh, and, if, and it's really uh, ignorance, ignorance of facts. You're ignor they're ignoring facts to come to their position. Uh, the difference between the ignorance and nescience, which is any and then the word science after it, <clears throat> is nescience means you didn't have the opportunity to know, which is true when you're younger, but when you get a little older and you should be starting to read books cause they're, and going online, doing your own research and figuring out shit for yourself, your nescience becomes ignorance. You understand? So stop with the ignorance and start being a capitalist. Start changing our country. From your little town, I'm going to pause this and light another cigarette. Uh, start getting involved in the school board. This is how, uh, in your town school board, and try to put together a uh, financial class for high schoolers so they can better understand the credit system. Uh, you can get speakers to come in and teach them for a few days, maybe. Uh, there's plenty of uh, capitalist economists that write books and probably would like to <clears throat> do something like that. Uh, if not, you can buy the books, have a class for a semester on, uh, I don't know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, that author there. He's a good author. Uh, he does a lot of good explana uh, ex explanation of uh, the financial system and how to uh, use it to your benefit. i got about a minute left, so I'm just going to uh, comment on... Uh, Ben Carson's uh, Seventh Day Adventism. Uh, I live in Maine, which is where the uh, founder of Seventh Day Adventism was born. She was born in Gorham, Maine. She was a crazy bitch who uh, basically thought that the world was going to end like five times, like 1843, 1844, 1846, and like 1853 or some shit. Never came true. And then she changed all her fucking writings and she sold thousands and thousands of books. I mean, uh, 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 2,000 books, I think. And, uh, I mean, this is just, she was a con artist. She was a 1800s, early 1900s, uh, new age, new agey type, uh, Christianity where she, uh, sold a 
books on like weird nutritional facts and how you should eat and then you know hey the world's gonna end and no it didn't well i'm just i had another talk with uh, god and uh, he decided not to and he's gonna end it in 18 you know 53 instead no nope, that didn't happen oh well, i i fucked up there too uh it's a mistranslation i didn't quite understand i was really tripping out when i had the prophetic vision and i mean come on come on come on come on republican party come on Last last time you fucking gave me a man that fucking believed in magical underpants. Now you believe now you're giving me this guy. I mean, come on. Come on.